down there about 50 yards. Never miss, do you, Flynn? Most times, Waco, you don't get a second chance at missing. This one's done for. So is this one. What do we do with the bodies? Get rid of them the usual way? Yeah, the usual way. What about all this stuff? That goes with them. And we'd better get rid of the horses, too, before someone starts investigating. You were looking for me, Mr. Jennings. Looking for you? I had out a dragnet. I found out how slippery the Cheyenne kid is. My office chased you from Laredo to Gila Bend, then to... Well, here I am in Phoenix. What do you want, Chief? A job has come up only you can handle. Me as the Cheyenne kid or as Marshal Davis? It'll probably take a combination of both. I don't know whether you've heard. Bob Craig, a federal surveyor, and his assistant have disappeared. Craig, isn't he mapping a new road through Barton County? He was until a couple of weeks ago. One of our marshals traced Craig to a spot near the ghost town of Waterhole, but the trail ended in thin air. Who's on the case? A funny old codger named Jones. Fuzzy Jones? Yes. Well, he's an old sidekick of mine. Good, you'll be working together. Fuzzy reports there may be something big back of Craig's disappearance. That's where you come in. You can keep the paperwork, Chief. I'd rather depend on first-hand information from Fuzzy himself. You can contact him in the vicinity of Waterhole. He's posing as a desert rat, prospecting in that district. That desert rat's getting too nosy for his own good. Maybe we'd better scare him off. <laughs> that ought to be easy. What's that contraction you got there? Ah, that's a uh, whatchamacallit. A whatchamacallit? Yeah, you see, it's for locating valuable treasures and veins of ore. The old loco is that there contraption. Why, there ain't been any gold around here for 50 years. Uh, maybe you're right, mister, and yet maybe you're wrong. I kind of figured maybe they 
missed the mother load when they were mining hereabouts. Besides, gold ain't the only valuable metal. You mean that thing will locate other metals besides gold? <laughs> you can't prove it by me, mister, but that's what the uh, inventor told me when he sold me this gadget. Maybe I can tell you better uh, after I find something. I think it'd be healthier if you did your prospect in someplace else. Hey, this is a free country. Besides, I kind of like it here. I said get going. Ah! That'll keep him out of our way for a while. At least by the time he gets his nerve back, our deal will be set. We'd better get back to Barton City. What's up, Vince? I just got another answer to one of those advertisements I've been running in the Eastern newspapers. You mean one of the heirs to the Waterhole Mining property? Rodney Trent. That's the big fish I've been angling for. His grandfather owned two-thirds of Waterhole when the mine was running full blast, and Trent inherited it. The deed to his property will just about sew things up for you. That's right. And from the tone of Trent's letter, it's a sense he fell for my come on. He's headed out here to investigate. It's Rodney Trent, all right. Then we'd better get his body to Waterhole and put it with the rest of them.
Mitch Burton. Cheyenne, you old son of a sidewinder. How are you, Fuzzy? Am I glad to see you. I've really been having trouble. Doesn't look like you're the only one. How many I can't see? This fellow's in pretty bad shape. Who are you? Just take it easy now. The bandits. What happened? They hightailed it out of here. I've got to get to Barton City. You won't know how to be taken care of first. Yeah, I've got to get there. Is there some place close we can take him to doctor's wound? Oh, I've been hiding out in an old deserted shack near here. Good, let's go. I don't know of any reason why those men attacked me. I was carrying very little money. It didn't have the earmarks of an ordinary holdup. You said you answered an ad which was seeking to locate heirs of the Waterhole property. Did you write a letter to Vance Sharp in Barton City saying you were coming here? Yes. I wrote him that I wanted to look over the land before selling. You don't think Vance Sharp had me ambushed, do you? He seems to be the only one you contacted. Do you think his offer to buy your property was legitimate? The figure seemed low. Sharp claimed the land was worthless, except to an eastern syndicate, which wanted to develop it into small ranches. Ranches? Well, what in tarnation would they use for water? Water hole was named because the town has the only spring in that section. And that's gone dry. Do you think there's a possibility of a new gold strike? I don't know. But it's sure someone wants that property for something else besides farming. Yes, and they want it bad enough to commit murder to get it. But what could they gain by my death? I've signed no papers of any. You wrote him a letter. He has your signature. Names are sometimes forged if there are no heirs to contest the signature. But I have an heir, my daughter. I'm to meet her in Barton City. And from the reception I got, I'm worried about her. Does anybody else know she's coming besides you? Well, those men who ambushed me have her letter. It was in my wallet. Oh, 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 take it easy. But I've got to get to Diane. Don't worry. We'll see that nothing happens to her. Looks like it'd be a good idea for us to head for Barton City, Fuzzy. What happened? We ran into some trouble, Vance, and cured. And Trent got away. Well, we got him all right, but before we could get rid of the body, the Cheyenne kid jumped us. The Cheyenne kid? Are you sure? I bumped into him before. He's a bad hombre to tangle with. Is there any chance the Cheyenne kid might have been following Trent? Well, it looked as if he just happened along by accident. I got all of Trent's papers here. Good. Now nobody will be able to identify him. changes things. Here's a letter from Trent's daughter. She'll be arriving in Barton City in a couple of days. That means there's still an heir to the Trent property. As long as she remains alive. Well, it's too bad Miss Trent won't be able to enjoy the millions we're going to mine at Waterhole. I'd better get her at the assay office and tell Watson to hold off for a couple of days. scheduled to investigate his property? That part went off like clockwork. But we've got another complication. Trent has a daughter. You mean we've got to get her out of the way before we can get the Trent property? Obviously. For if anyone squawks about our claims, those deeds won't bear too close an examination. I won't stand for any more killings, Vance. You're getting us in too deep and... We're up to our necks now, Watson. 
They can only hang us once. But all I have done was to forge those deeds for you. The rest was your responsibility. You still want your share of the millions we're going to grab off at Waterhole. I've got a right to a big share. It was my idea. You tipped me off when that surveyor brought in some samples of ore to be assay. Now, without me to put your scheme into operation, it wouldn't be worth a plug nickel. I've got enough worries without your troubles, Watson. And I don't like the Cheyenne kids showing up at this stage of the game. Knowing what happened to Trent, I'm afraid Bob Craig stumbled onto something and got the same treatment. What do you think Trent ties up with what we're after? You said you traced Bob Craig to Waterhole. Trent was headed there. It's beginning to add up. Well, that reminds me, I, uh, I found this in Waterhole. Look, the initials are RC. Could stand for Robert Craig. Looks like some rough handling tore it loose. Well, I figured when that watch bob was tore loose that that was the end of Craig's trail. I think you're right, Fuzzy. But I have a hunch that the trail begins in Barton City. you ran that old prospector out of town. I thought I did. This time, I'll really give him a working over. Hold it, Flint. I'm curious to find out what he's up to. I'm going to find out what he wants in the assay office. You fellas come along. Yeah. I want to check your records on some mining claims. What locality? Uh, Waterhole. Won't do you any good. That property isn't open to public claim. Well, I didn't ask you if it was public property. I just want to see the records. Did you find something interesting at uh, Waterhole? Oh, that's my business. Am I going to see them records or ain't I? You'll have to tell me the section number of the property you're interested in. I... I thought you were told this part of the country ain't healthy for you. Well, I'm feeling plenty healthy, mister, and I... Hurry up, Fuzzy! Uh, hold it, you tin horns. You've got me all wrong, mister. This man's a very dangerous character, and he came in here looking for trouble. Oh, I came in here looking for records, and these two fellas jumped me. We've been after this man for a long time for stealing supplies from our camp. Oh, I never stole nothing. Don't you think this is a matter for the sheriff to decide? The next time I run into him, I'm going to take the law into my own hands. Holy Flint. Maybe the boys were mistaken about your friends stealing their camp gear. Well, see that the boys don't make that mistake again. It might prove fatal. Come on, Fuzz. I told you that Cheyenne kid was dynamite. Dynamite can be useful, if properly handled.
she got out of there, I don't know. We'd better split up and look for her. And since your father is alive, I'm really stuck until I can find proof that Sharp murdered the other heirs. Yes, I can see what a difficult job that'll be. But surely they must believe my father's dead. Well, the fact that they attack me proves it. Isn't there some way that you can use me as bait to trap them? Yes, there is a way you can help. I tell you, Vast, there's something spooky about the way that girl disappeared without a trace. You and your men are a bunch of bungling idiots. I backtracked the trail and wake when a couple of the men are still searching. Round up some more men. Go over that district with a fine tooth comb. What's the matter, Sharp? Lose something? Why, uh, why, yes. Uh, one of my horses strayed and the boys were out looking for it. Sure that's all you lost? I thought maybe it was Miss Trent. I don't know what you're talking about. But you can be sure if I lost someone like you, this whole state would be turned upside down by now. If I were Miss Trent, I'd wonder if your interests were in her or her mining property. You can stop wondering now. I've never seen her before and know nothing about her business. Well, you'll know plenty about her from now on. Are you trying to threaten me? Merely informing you that Miss Trent would like to hire your services as her attorney. Is this true, Miss Trent? Yes. I'd like you to draw up my will. Your will? Oh, uh, pardon my amazement, Miss Trent, but you're so young and look to be in such perfect health. I, uh, I'm surprised you'd worry about such a document as that. You might say this will was more in the nature of a life insurance policy. What do you mean by that? Miss Trent's life is in danger. Why would anyone threaten your life? For the same reason her father was killed two days ago. If anybody wants to get her, I want to fix it so they have to get me too. Well, how do you figure you can do that? Miss Trent is making me her beneficiary. That should transfer the heat to me and ensure her life. Now, if you don't mind, we'd like you to get busy and draw up that will right away. With this will, there's an ace in the hole. I'm certain your daughter will be safe. I left her at the hotel in Barton City. It's good of you to help us this way, Cheyenne. You're helping me and Fuzzy just as much as we're helping you. Well, what's our next move, Cheyenne? I think the next move will come from Sharp. We'd better be handy in Barton City where he can find us. There ain't a sign of that Trent gal. We might as well quit looking. Stay here with the horses. I'm going to see what's going on down there. We've really got something to tell Sharp. Trent ain't dead. And I don't know what the Cheyenne kid told you, but I think something's happened to your father which is being concealed from you. Have you seen him since you've arrived in Barton City? No. Then you only have the Cheyenne kid's word that he's trying to help you and your father. What are you trying to tell me? One of my men told me that the Cheyenne kid and his partner were holding a wounded man prisoner in a deserted check. That man may be your father. But what could they gain by keeping Dad a prisoner? The Cheyenne kid might have been trying to force your father to make a will in his favor. Something must have gone wrong with the scheme, and he tricked you into making one instead. But my will is valueless, unless... Unless your father is dead. I don't believe it. There's an easy way to find out, Miss Trent. Flint, find Cheyenne Davis and bring him here. I don't know why Sharp wants to see you, but it might be very important. And with Trent dead, there's only one person standing between me and the Waterhole mining property. Remember, Miss Trent's will is made out in my favor. That could be changed. I don't think you'll get Miss Trent to change her will. She thinks I'm on the level. I'll give you till tomorrow morning to make up your mind. Do you 
just think that only lawyer believes that you're thrown in with him? Your guess is as good as mine, Fuzzy. But it's a cinch we're holding the trump card as long as we have Trent. Find out if he's in condition to travel in case we have a showdown with Sharp. Trent. Trent. What's the matter? Is he unconscious again? This time for good. Turn around with your hands in the air. I wouldn't look in that bunk if I were you, Miss Trent. Hold it, Cheyenne. We know what your game is. Lay a hand on that girl and we'll let you have it. You... You killed my father. Believe me, I didn't. Save that for the judge. Get their guns, boys. What are you going to do with me? Try to convince you that I had nothing to do with your father's death. Well, it'll be pretty hard to do. Not if I can produce a guilty man. First, to clear up your doubts of me, I want you to have this back. My will? But I thought Take you... Take it. You won't need it any longer to ensure your safety since this case is ready to break wide open. What are you talking about? If you'll answer one question, I'm sure I can find the man who killed your father. Haven't you played enough games with me already? Someone else dealt the cards in this game, Miss Trent. And I'm pretty certain I know who it is. All I need now is confirmation. What do you mean? Whoever told you your father was hidden in the shack is responsible for his death. Remember, I didn't tell you or anyone else where he was hidden. All I said was that he was safe. Well, that's right. Well, then Van Sharp arranged the whole thing. But you can't blame me for believing him. I was hidden in the closet when you made the deal with him. He claimed he only pretended to fall in with your scheme in order to trap my father's murderer. It's going to work, but not the way he figured.
head. This place is starting to give me the jumping heebie-jeebies. It's too spooky. We'll be on our way as soon as Dan wakes up. You don't have anything to worry about anyhow. Ghosts don't start walking until midnight. Uh, poor kid's had a pretty tough time of it. She needs a rest. Hey, did you say ghosts? Sure, this is a ghost town, isn't it? Oh, you know I don't believe in them stories about uh, spooks. But I'm still scared of them. First time I ever saw a four-legged ghost. Here's your hat. Relax for a while. Do you feel rested enough to ride to Barton City? Oh, I'm all right. Fuzzy and I have some business to take care of after we leave you at the hotel. Saw the toughest looking number I ever saw in my life peeking through this window. That tough looking number, Fuzzy, is you. That's a mirror, not a window.
You take the filing cabinet, I'll take the desk. Like we've drawn a blank, Shy. There's nothing in the desk. Seems funny a lawyer wouldn't have a safe for his important papers. I don't suppose he hung them behind a picture someplace, do you? Looks like you hit the jackpot, Fuzzy. You mean the jackpot hit me? Here are letters from several people answering Sharp's advertisement. This one's from Rodney Trent. Well, that's all the evidence we need to put a rope around that lawyer's neck. You're wrong, Fuzzy. It only proves that Sharp was trying to locate the waterhole heirs. But all we have to do is check and see if the other folks have disappeared. Before Sharp can be brought to trial, we have to produce the corpus delecti. Thank you. Corpus de which? The bodies of the murdered people. Well, won't that be like looking for a needle in a haystack? I've covered this country all over before, you know. I hadn't figured on looking for the bodies. Today's the 14th, isn't it? Well, it was all day, unless you want to be technical. It's probably past midnight. And if today is already tomorrow, then tomorrow is the 15th. <laughs> Skip the comedy, Fuzzy. According to this letter, there's another sucker due in on the 15th. Well, then we can... Uh... Yeah, if Sharp is prepared as usual, welcome. We'll have all the evidence we need. Are you losing it, Johnson? Yes, what are you... Is this a hold-up? If we were after your money, we could take it right here. Let's get away from the road so we won't be seen. Why did you stop me? I have business in Waterhole. That's I... what I want to talk to you about, Johnson. Didn't you answer a blind ad and get a reply from a man in Barton City by the name of Vance Sharp? Yes, he offered to buy some property of mine. But I wasn't satisfied with the deal and decided to investigate for myself. You don't know it, Mr. Johnson, but we saved your life by stopping you from going on the waterhole. Saved my life? Why should I be in any danger? You're just one of a half a dozen suckers who fell for Sharp's come on. I have nothing to lose as long as I don't accept his offer. Nothing but your life. Obviously, the others felt the same way about it you do. One of them is dead and the rest are missing. Sharp evidently figures that murder is cheaper than buying your property. Then my hunch that property is still valuable is right. Considering the risk that Sharp is taking, the stakes must be plenty high. Have you proof that he's back of all this? No, that's where you come in. Me? Yep. It's liable to be dangerous. I'm with you. What do you want me to do? Well, we'll start by playing a little game of tag. And I'm afraid you're going to be it, Johnson. I spotted Flint and his men just over the hill. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Definitely. Then get out in the road and get set. All right, Fuzzy, start shooting.
This is a piece of luck. The Cheyenne kid don't know it, but without these, he won't be able to cut into our game. We lost them. They might circle back. Get him out of here and then report back to Sharp's office. and sneak down the back alley. Come on, horse. Throw him down here till I open the trap door. Fuzzy, we found what's left of Bob Craig and the others. Well, that's why the trail ended here, in the water hole. But there's still plenty of business to finish in Barton City. Tie those men up, we'll take them back with us. Now that we've recorded the deed to the Johnson property, there's nothing left to do but find the Trent girl. Then we can start to develop that new vein of water hole mines. But what about the Cheyenne kid? From what Trent reports, he's still in the vicinity and... There's nothing to worry about. He more than likely just made a last try to cut in on our deal. It paid off the results, sir. What kind of a game is this? Follow the leader if you're referring to what Fuzzy's got in tow. Come on in, Fuzzy. Sit down over there. Now, if you're talking about your own game, it's over. You're all under arrest. I'm taking you to Phoenix to stand trial for the murder of Bob Craig as well as Trent and the others. It was Flint's fault. Johnson wasn't dead. Shut up, you idiot. That goes for you too, Flint. You can't pin anything on me, Marshal. Nothing but a mail order murder racket. There's enough evidence with Johnson's testimony to convict you, with the exception of one little missing link. And I'm gambling that I'll find out right here why that water hole property is so valuable. I'm not mixed up in this business. You can examine all my records and see that everything is open and above board. What I expect to find, I won't find out in the open. Very sure. 
This office ain't got no uh, safe either, but it's uh, got a filing cabinet. Hey, you're right, Fuzzy. See if it's got one of those trick drawers, like the one in Sharp's office. This is all we need to wind up this case. Exhibit A in the Phoenix court. I'm not connected with these burgers. It was Vance Sharp's whole scheme. He made me forge those beads. Why, you dirty squitter? you could expect Waterhole to boom again with this new gold strike. We certainly have a lot to thank you for, Cheyenne. Well, Bob Craig deserves a thanks for discovering the new vein of ore, and his disappearance brought Fuzzy and me here. Can't we persuade you to stay on? To see that law and order is maintained? Well, you might, if anyone could. But I'm too restless to stay put very long, Miss Diane. Besides, Fuzzy will handle things here while I'm in Phoenix for the trial. That's right, Cheyenne. You can depend upon me to stick on the job. I... <laughs> <laughs> Looks to me like you're stuck with the job. Well, so long, folks. Maybe I'll be riding back this way again sometime. At least I'm leaving you in good hands.